emergency time is often critical, but getting patients to hospital in a hurry means a time-consuming paper trail for paramedics. Now, new technology promises to make the ambulance service faster and smarter. Ruth Wynne-Williams explains. When it comes to emergency medicine, this is hardly cutting edge. A handwritten administration system almost as old as the St John service itself. It's completely dependent on how good my handwriting is to how well people interpret what I've written. And when it comes to things like drug dosages, that's really, really important. So after 129 years set in its ways, St John is updating its systems, taking on mobile technology to speed up its first responses. They'll automatically have uh, an amazing array of information about that patient that'll help treat them differently um, and make sure that we give that patient the best treatment that we can. It'll fundamentally change the way that we do business. It sounds simple because that's the point. Electronic data entry means for 400,000 odd call-outs a year, critical administration will happen at the scene. And that will sync in almost real time back to our servers and back to the hospital. It could also make a real difference here. With patient information readily available, St John hopes to cut emergency admissions throughout the country. They'll know who's seen the patient before and that will give them a better idea of how they can help. Health Minister Tony Ryle claims it's the first time in the world a record of frontline care will be sent straight to the patient's GP. The technological fix-up for the ambulance service is costing the Health Ministry $2 million. A further 500000 will be funded by ACC. The first devices will be in the hands of paramedics in just a couple of weeks. Has it been a challenge for the guys picking it up? Um, no, not really. Uh, for the young guys it hasn't. Getting with the times and putting patients streets ahead when it comes to frontline care. Ruth Wynne-Williams, One News.